Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Blog Space Ration Reviews. I'm your host Harris, and today we've got a pretty cool ration. So check this out, we've got a Z ration, which is the civilian version of an FSR. And this ration is meant for quick eating on the move, and it's going to have roughly the same amount of calories as three individual MREs, but way less. Now you can go ahead and pick this up from Amazon for $29.99. And I strongly suggest you try these out because they've got a combination of some of the best um, FSR um, snacks and mains. So let's go ahead and check this one out. I'm gonna show you guys the ingredient list. Feel free to pause right there and take a look. So stay tuned and please follow the channel, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And let's just get right into it. Boy, is that thing raging. So while that's getting done, let's go ahead and crack into these snacks. So first we're gonna start with this cornbread trans fat free. Oh, look, my favorite part. <laughs> All right, got a strong cornbread scent. Sorry, cornbread scent here. Uh, 260 calories. Emery trans fat free lemon poppy seed town cake. So you've got a lot of breads in here. Really fill you up with carbs, give you energy where you need it. Oh, and this is so moist and so soft. It's just gonna crumble. But check that out. Broke open so easily. Okay. This just doesn't want to open. Try this side. There we go. Also, very moist, fresh packaging day. And these things are good for about two years. So, um, nothing to worry. This has a package date of, I believe, 2019. So, very fresh right now. Last thing for our sterling foods items is a chocolate banana nut muffin top. Oh, and that smells rich. I mean, it smells like, like a fresh bakery muffin top. That smells really good. Cran raspberry flavor 
Let's see. It smells like cran raspberry. Sure looks like it. Mendable. Nice. Garbage duty. All right, what else we got? We got the Slim Jim. Oh, I hate opening these. Let's see if we can't get our trusty knife to give us a little bit of assistance here. All right, looks like we got some carrots and peas in there. It's a nice portion, 180 calories. So you can see some, some cheese curds, maybe some peas, some carrots, big chunks of beef. All right. Let's clean these mitts off and get into it. Got our drinks made here, by the way. That's the vitamin C, that's the Repel, that's the Nest Cafe. Let's go ahead and give this a try. So we don't have too much beef in this bite. And that's not too shabby. Um, you know, the beef flavor has really come through on the, on the stew. And so even the vegetables are getting that beef flavor. And these aren't actually potatoes, not cheese curds. I'm going to put another bite here. But it's a little bit bland. Um, you can see that there's some sort of seeds in there. But it tastes hearty. It tastes homegrown. You know, I'm getting a lot of comfort food vibes from that. I'm really enjoying it. It doesn't taste like it's out of a bag, which is the big plus. And the flameless ration heater had like six or seven uh, heating elements, which really made it heat up really well. Yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of an artificial taste to it. It doesn't quite taste like 100%, you know, fresh made, but, um, you know, for something that you're going to be eating that's shelf stable for two years, I think this is going to be very palatable. Let's go ahead and move on to this beef barbecue sandwich. Very mendable. Didn't put it in the flaming ration heater, so. So, the beef actually tastes pretty processed. Um, not much texture to it. The barbecue flavor is good. Um, if you were to get a bite without the filling, then perhaps it wouldn't be as good. Um, the bread around the filling is nice and soft and moist, uh, which might not be the case with older rations. So this one happens to be really good.
We can go ahead and try out these corn uh, nuts that are ranch flavored next. And it tastes like a corn nut that someone just kind of salted a little bit. You're not getting much of a ranch flavor from those, but um, definitely better than, you know, kind of like standard corn nuts. You're getting a little bit of seasoning on there, a little extra sodium for if you're sweating a lot. Good little on the go snack, especially for those who aren't the biggest fans of the sweets. So I think go ahead and try some of this crushed red pepper on the beef stew. Still left in that pack. I mean, that's quite a good amount. Me myself, I'm a spice guy, so let's see how this let's see how this crushed red pepper adds. Yeah, and you know, the crushed red pepper gives it a little more, hides that artificial flavor. So actually, it's a really good idea to put this on because you're gonna be masking that artificial flavor that's coming from um, just it being a shelf-stable uh, packeted meal. And that crushed red pepper is really helping it a lot. So let's, let's go for one more bite here. Yeah, you're not know, gonna easily finish that. And 180 calories really, you know, it's the same as less than this cran raspberry bar right here. So, you know, you really want to finish those mains because you're getting fiber from those vegetables. You're getting a lot of protein. Um, you're getting hydration from that broth. It's a really good idea if you're on the move to finish up this main before you finish up the rest of these things since the calorie count on this is actually very low anyway. So let's go ahead and try maybe. This bread is very pliable. Let's go ahead and dip this in the uh, broth, see if that adds anything to it. And that's probably the way to go because, you know, you've already sacrificed texture on these little barbecue sandwiches. So when you when you dip it in this broth, you actually get like a lot, like this punch of flavor. The filling combined with all the broth in there just gives you a punch, which is just overwhelms the need for any texture. I'm gonna go ahead and break up some of these bits in here. Kind of eat it with the broth. This is a good sign because, you know, you can see a huge chunk of beef at that corner right there. Now, I wouldn't suggest crumbling it and putting it in the broth. I'd rather take a dip because what's happening is you want there to be more sandwich than you want there to be beef stew. Um, and if you eat it like a spoonful, yeah, you're going to get more more beef stew than sandwich here. Definitely a better idea to just dip that sandwich in here. And you got a lot of bread. So there's a corner without filling at all. And th that might just be good to just dunk in the broth. Just get some flavor out of there. Now, what we can do is actually add these corn nuts into the main too, to see if maybe that adds into any texture to the dish. Is the texture worth it? No, I, I don't think, I just don't think the ranch flavoring is doing much for this to, for the stew right now. Um, let's go ahead and wash our pellets down. Uh, this one's the Propel, this one's the vitamin C drink. Take a swig of both. Kind of like a, 
murky water looking. Uh, yeah, I mean, it tastes like standard Propel. Uh, must have a little bit of sugar in it. I'm not sure if the packet was zero calorie or not. I kind of taste like it has a little bit of sugar in it. And it does. Um, Extric acid, absorbic acid. I can take a look here. natural flavor so i'm assuming that's gonna be the uh i don't see sugar on there i don't know it doesn't say zero calorie though so who knows i don't think it is zero calorie so the last thing we can do is kind of look at this cheese spread and it's it's, it's very pliable and we can kind of try it on this on this main here see if it's any good Here at corner. I'll tell you what, if you're not used to opening these packets, they really aren't the easiest thing to open. All right. So we'll go ahead and start with this little piece of bread here. You can see how moist that cheese came out. A lot of moisture on there. Looks like the oils really spread out nicely. Um, and I didn't even need it too much. And that's just the way to go. There's no other way you should do that. You should really heat this up as much as you can because this just tastes like you took a block of cheese and melted it. More than it tastes like processed cheese. You can see it kind of drooping. It has um, a lot of a lot of flavor to it. It's very sharp. The flavor is so sharp. It kind of overwhelms the filling on this on this um, barbecue beef um, sandwich. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend this, but there's just not nothing nowhere to put this cheese spread. It really doesn't fit with any of the other ingredients that well. Perhaps in the stew. We can give it a try here. I just I just don't think that's gonna work very well. So it's not bad. Um, you definitely, you definitely uh, want to keep these corn nuts in here. As you can see, there's a little corn nut in there. The corn nuts giving is fighting off the, you know, odd texture from the cheese. But hey, guys, you know, you win some, you lose some. You don't know if it's necessarily going to be too good. But you definitely want to keep that cheese spread for the sandwich. There's not many other, too many other places you can you can use that. I mean, maybe you can trade it for something later. I'll wash it down with this vitamin C drink. I wonder what this tastes like because it has no color whatsoever. Okay, so this tastes like a diluted tang. And, you know, I'm glad it has 100% of our daily values vitamin C because I would tug this in an instant. Now for dessert. So let's start out with uh, this lemon poppy seed pound cake. Pretty nice and colorful. Mm -hmm. So if you look closely, you might be able to see that the sugar kind of crystallized uh, within the cake. So 
instead of it being very spongy, it's actually very kind of crunchy in a sense. And you're getting like a little bit of sugar in each bite. And those poppy seeds aren't really coming through. It's more of just like an icing and lemon pound cake. This thing's at a high bar. I don't know if the cornbread or if the muffin top will be able to reach that. Okay, this is extremely moist, even more moist than the poppy seed. So let's go ahead and try this out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This tastes more granular. Um, it has that granular kind of texture. And it does definitely has a corn taste and you know you got to clear your palate because a lot of the time if you eat something very sweet you're not going to be able to taste those subtle flavors in the cornbread or something something more subtle than, than a dessert bar so didn't add any cream or sugar in this uh didn't come with any came with some salt and pepper um that's about it in the in the in the uh crushed red pepper so let's go ahead and take a swig it's just normal coffee Yep, um, average cup of joe, nothing too crazy there. Um, so let's move on to the muffin top here. Mmm. That's good. Personally, I don't think these are. this is as good as the um, lemon poppy seed or the, uh, the cornbread. Um, but you do have some nuts in here, which kind of gives you a little bit of a change up for where those two are just two pieces of cake, very high calorie, um, might not be the best, uh, snack for, you know, um, on the go because you are getting carbs, but, um, you're not, they're going to be fast acting. You're not going to be sustaining versus some sort of whole grain bread. Um, now you do have some nuts in here and that's probably going to be your kind of common combination between carbohydrates and fats. And I give you that like long-term energy. Um, there's not too much left here, so we can try some of this trail mix. Get some M and M's in here. So I got some peanuts, M and M's, raisins. That's pretty much it. Nothing too crazy. We do have this applesauce we can give a try here. And it's organic, so see the um, best buy date, May 18th, 2021. So it's packaged air sealed. So I guess even though it's organic, you're gonna have that long shelf life. Give it a try here. Um, you know, it tastes good. It definitely tastes better than Z applesauce, which is kind of like a salmon applesauce that uh, that comes in the first strike ration. This stuff actually tastes pretty, you know, obviously it is organic, but it tastes pretty good. Compared to like maybe like a Mott's, maybe a little better than a Mott's. You're not getting too much of a sweet flavor. It's much more sweet. Sorry, it's much more um, organic. You're getting like more of an apple flavor. As if you actually almost bit into an apple. Um, very good. Probably one of the best parts of this dish, and that's probably because it's organic. Okay, so got our cran raspberry bar here. Very mendable. Not sure how your stomach's gonna react to this. very chewy um it has kind of like 
on the inside of a crunch bar it's very crisp but you know you're not getting too much um too much cran raspberry flavor which is good um it's very subtle actually and um, you could probably finish that bar the only thing kind of off-putting about that is the texture and the kind of like the chewiness of it but other than that uh, it's pretty good and last but not least slim jim And it tastes like a standard Slim Jim, but it's held up nicely. It's got a nice snap to it. Well, we also have the Military Energy Gum, which we can jump into real quick. A blue flavor. Don't want to chew that for too long because it has 100 milligrams of caffeine in it, but um, that's got a real, real cool mint flavor. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, like I said, this is a civilian version of the FSR, so please do leave a comment, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for future ration reviews. Um, I really do appreciate you tuning in. Um, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.